Welcome everyone to the Real Whovians cast. I am your host, Matrix Lord Two and Two. I almost said the number. Ha ha. And I am with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello. What's up, Ben? Hello. What's up, Jay? Hey. What's up, Jordan? Hello. All right, Jordan. So you're up. What did you think of the Doctor Who Children in the clip for twice upon a time? I loved it. I, I truly loved it. I know. Finally, we got some stuff to talk about with Doctor Who. I loved it too. If I could rate it, I'd say 10 out of 10, which it was perfect, perfect humor with each other, whole situation. I love the way the TARDIS lo- looks too. You know, it's going to suck that that's going to be gone now. Mm-hmm. You know, we're going to get, I don't know what the hell we're going to get. Uh, a handbag? I, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Stop it. Good, Good one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah no I want the TARDIS to land here no I want the TARDIS to land there no no over there a little bit more to the left a little bit more to the right oh, stop it's not like you're driving a car <laughs> come on hey, you are so masculinistic <laughs> no, he's done, he's done. I, I went into Victoria's Terrible. to find a sonic bra and I didn't stop find mansplaining <laughs> <laughs> we were watching Cult. I watched it for the second time. American Horror Story. And, and she's like mansplaining. And I'm like, mansplaining. <laughs> These terms. <laughs> terrible. Yeah. yeah. We wonder why Man's... Scott's single and always gets... I don't like those terms, man. <laughs> that, that's just feminist code for man's trying to explain himself to me now. Right. Man is the, the, the lesser of the <laughs> human race, which meanwhile is called mankind. But anyway, all right. I so, can just see her coming out of that TARDIS, and her hair's messed up. No, oh, got her compact. No, it's that you're being like ster- <laughs> What is the thing? Stereotyping or whatever. No, no. I can just see. It. I can just see it. Oh, <laughs> Breaks the heel. Oh, oh Greg, stop it! <laughs> Greg, you guys uh, are oh, just not. You're not Hoovian. You're not Hoovian correct. You're not. That's a new term, Hoovian correct. Really? It gets like politically that's correct, he was but doing the same boots as me. <laughs> Jordan, so you're gonna watch it when she takes over or no? No. No! What are you gonna replace it with? Anything better than Anything? That. No. It's gotta be something. I, I can't watch it. No. Can't do it. I'm Will you gonna... ever wear suspenders after that? <laughs> I was thinking I was going to. But then when, she, when I saw it on her, I'm like, yeah, no. Nah, it's too cringy. Like, yeah? It makes you just want to sit in an egg and go nano nano. I don't know. <laughs> hey, maybe she'll start wearing I, I, You know, it's funny. Like, when Robin Williams did I, I, I sat upside down, too. Because I was a kid. I'm like, oh, I'm going to do that, too. I even had a shirt, a Mark and Mindy shirt. I had, like, the egg. It was, like, a big egg shirt. Can't anything be original anymore? Come on. I've got the – I think it's in my trunk. I've got the little uh, little Morka, Morka figure, and it came in an egg. Mm-hmm. You guys don't even know what Mark and Mindy is, do you, Jordan? I had a calendar as well. No, right? You could probably see that on like YouTube if you type in Mork and Mindy. And if we if we start, I tell you right now, if they should, if she Ooh. starts doing stuff in there like Mork and Mindy, or she has a friend named yes. Exodor, yes. then I'm gonna be that's it. I'm out. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's right. So that's crazy stuff, man. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Now we heard some rumors that one of the episodes. It's all politically women, 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 women's rights, going back to when women had no rights and the doctor takes a stand or something. That's rumors right now. What do you think about that, Jordan? Absolute rubbish. That's a big leap from the Daleks. Huh? It's just like the, it's just like Trump, like in series 10. You know, they mentioned Trump and all that. Yeah, I don't like that at all. It's never about that. Doctor I never. Who, I can't believe they put Trump in, in, in the same country. Doctor Who is to get away from all that rubbish. Yeah, for us to you know break free and have no experience. There's no need for any of that that no. nonsense in Doctor Who. Yeah, let's get away from the. 
And they've been Those doing that, though, over the years, too. I've seen it. They've been putting that yeah, stupid stuff in there. Like I said, like I said in another cast, I strongly believe they assumed Hillary was going to become president. So they try to slowly push this feminist, let's make everything a woman stuff. I you, you know what's interesting, too? The way the UK, like the Doctor Who writers viewed America as a president. Like, when they did End of Time, they were very favorable of Obama. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're like, oh, he's got this great plan that's going to help the whole entire world. And then the band is like, uh, best part, delete. How did that work? <laughs> How did that work? True comedy class. But that's great because he deleted the thing from his brain. So even if it got turned back to normal, he wouldn't remember what the plan is. That, that was funny, man. Deleted. That's for me. I don't know, man. And they always made like the, the American president like a buffoon. I have a feeling that Hillary Clinton will make an appearance on Doctor Who. No, oh. that will not happen. As, as, as the future president of the United States, I no. just feel it. I just feel it. I feel it. No, she's going to be a dollar. <laughs> no, no, she's no, no, no. She's going to be Dev Ross. No. Well, they even sh saved Harry Jones. They changed that whole thing. She didn't get killed hey. by the dollars. Hey, maybe she'll be the new master. They already had a female master. You gonna do a female master again? Oh, that's crazy! All right, so Jordan, <laughs> anything else about? Uh, are you looking forward to the Christmas special? I, I mean, they said it's an alien. Yeah, Ch Ch one ain't Gatiss. apparently, but I hope they do more classic, you know, doctors with new doctors, and maybe classic companions with new companions in the future. I know I'm not going to watch it, but for the fan, the new fans, to see some classic doctors. Would just be mm -hmm. amazing, and maybe if a classic doctor returns, I would watch it again, like David Tennant or Matt Smith or something. What if, the, what if the alien in this isn't an alien? If it's it's the like doctor. it's like Clara in like a robe, like trying to be like Ben Kenobi, like Rawr! you know, the thing with Star Wars, <laughs> like she messed up time and she's like aliens, I think because they what he's on about an aliens. What's the word? Um, chasing after not alien chasing shit. them through frozen time or so, I think. Yeah, that's weird. But I hope they do more multi daughter stories in the future. Do we have a runtime yet? An hour, isn't it? It's only an hour? I think so. Really? I thought it was a little longer, really? Minute. Okay. I know the first episode is 65 minutes, they said, of hers, which is long. Um, but the Christmas special is an hour? Might be longer than that, though. We'll Is there going to be a Christmas special next year? No, right now. Not not right now. They should give it to someone else then. That slot. They should give it to another Dot Who writer who will write one. Listen, mm -hmm. you, you know what I would prefer if, and again, I didn't like the Sherlock Christmas special, but if there wasn't going to be a Doctor Who episode, I would like Moffat somehow to get them together to do another Sherlock Christmas special. Even though I'm not crazy about the last Sherlock Christmas special. I mean... It, it, I would like them to do some type of Christmas, but even if it's a Pot and Oster game, does a Christmas yes. special. Yes, so. I firmly agree with that. What about you, Ben? Christmas special with who? No, I've always wanted to see a spin off of the Pot and Oster game. Yeah. Maybe Captain Jack joins them. Maybe Captain Jack joins Unit. Maybe Captain Jack becomes a like big. What would be kind of interesting is that they could take a lot of the original doctors. That are still around and do a Christmas adventure that way. Yeah, that would be cool. But Even if it's just straight to YouTube, I mean, it still would be awesome. Yeah, I would love to see the uh, third Doctor's real life son who plays on uh, Gotham. Didn't you see the picture of him? Back. Didn't hmm? you see the picture of him dressed as his father? Mm -mm. Did you ever see that? Does anybody have that no. picture? I did, but I think it's but it was in the old. I'm gonna get it right now. I would love to him uh, him to play as dad as the third doctor. A few years ago, when I was thinking of people to play uh, the third doctor, I thought even John O'Hurley would have been good to yeah. maybe do him. Oh yeah, Lane's boss from Seinfeld. Uh, you ready for this? All right. You're going to be blown away. 
You ready for this? Mm -hmm. This is what he dressed up for Halloween. To be to look, he looked exactly like his father. Oh, it was this Halloween. This right. Halloween. Let, no, last there. Time, I think no, it's past Halloween. Right here, see it. Oh, wow. Wow. It that exactly too. like oh. him. This is fan art. It says. This was fan art. Yeah, above it. Click the one above it. That's him. Which one? This one. Yeah, that's oh, okay. him for this phone. Oh, all right. What well, doesn't? It's not bad. Huh. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's still cool. I think he would be good as the third doctor. Mm. I remember hearing him say he was his dad brought him to set a few times and he was on Doctor Who. That would be great if you could do it. So all right, that's gonna be our quick, quick. Real Hoobies cast. Quick, quickie of a who. There you go. Take care, bye for now. <laughs>